So this is Emily St Michael's Church in Emily, a village near the um, Emily Moor Mast. So we're going to video this church. So I'm going to video this church and then I'm going to see my friend in a bit. So it's St Michael's Church in Emily. I'm going to video the church for a while. Not too long, I'll stop it and then I'll just video it and then I'll video it again for the clock to strike six so you can hear it. <clears throat> it only strikes the hours, yes, on the tenor bell in there. He's got a nice blue clock face there, it's only got that one, just that. It's a lovely church indeed, yep. So you'll be able to watch this on YouTube, famous churches around West Yorkshire before the nights get dark. So that's why I'm doing the churches now. So I'm gonna video it for a while. Not all the way through until I'll stop in a few minutes and then wait till it gets to nearly six o'clock and then do another shot of it and then listen to the clock striking, the old clock. It's got one blue and gold clock face on that. Yep. It's a very quiet village up here. Yes, it's very quiet. So, it's opposite... Um, it's opposite school lane and it's right out in the countryside like Felkirk. Yeah. So we're just going to take a look at it and then we'll wait for it to strike six o'clock here around this church and then, and then we'll video whatever else there is to do and then that's it. I'm glad I'm allowed out and about now, but it's a lot better than 2020. It was terrible last time, last year. Absolutely disgusting. Not good at all. Nope. Some lovely countryside around this area. Absolutely lovely. And it's very quiet, isn't it? It sure is. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to video that Emily Moore mast as well. It's down here, and then I'm going to go back. And, and there's the Emily Moore mast up there. You can have that in. Some lovely beautiful countrysides as well. Right, where do you want to go now? Um, I'm just having a look around. So I'm right down by the church in the Emily village. So this church has got six bells and practice on a Monday night, 7.30 till 9 o'clock. There's this church. Mm. I used to come here on a Monday night and do bell ringing here, but 
apparently when they finished ringing here on a Monday night you have to wait for three quarters of an hour for a bus to come past over there so like winter months and things like that that's why I don't come here anymore I'd rather go to Lindley because there's a bus stop outside St Stephen's Church at Lindley and that bus comes um, just after nine o'clock and I get home by half past nine but if you're up here ringing on a Monday night for ringing the bells from here at 7.30 till nine then you're waiting up here from nine o'clock right until quarter to ten it's a long long time just that isn't it mmm it is so that's why I don't come up here on a Monday night anymore because I can't wait until quarter to ten if it's cold weather so well I don't mind coming on a Saturday when there's an arch decree meeting going on and I've got somebody to help me that's different that's fine I don't mind doing that I don't mind coming for that but not on a Monday night practice night anymore no I'm not doing that anymore sorry not doing it so, it's not happening I've done it enough times and it, it wasn't nice so I'll just video the church from the outside and then listen to it strike six and then that's it video the lovely church and the history on it and it's window in the middle yep and now at one time it used to only have three bells but they added another three later on in the years and it used to be rung from the ground floor but later on as the years went on they added a balcony as well so that's good so these bells they hear are cartwheel ringing bells cartwheel means they ring a lot slower than normal church bells these ones like Silkstone, Darton, Cawthorn um, and um, somewhere like that yes Ouch. Sorry, I just fell down there. Ooh. It's not ready to strike six o'clock yet, but when it will get ready for it to do it. We do some lovely countryside around the village. Before the dark nights come in, so that's what I'm doing it for now. So you can see what it looks like. It's a bit breezy, but it's not raining heavy, so that's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. See, there isn't no clock face on that side either. It's just got that one. These only ring on a Sunday morning, I think, these bells. They don't have a Sunday evening ringing band. No. Not this one. We'll have a good look at it and then we'll stop the video cam in about five minutes. And then put it back on about six o'clock ish. Well, before it starts to strike six. And then we'll video somewhere else, okay? Yep. Ouch! So watch where you're going with them nettles. We've got some lovely, beautiful house in the states around the church. And it's also mine's a bit like woolly as well, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, there it is, there's the tower. So we're gonna get that done up there. 
Well, it, that reminds me of Silkston Church as well, and and Darton and Corfon's type of style of stonework. Yes, you're right. Oh, I'm just, oh, just be careful. Check, yeah, I haven't got any on your shoes, Stuart. Yeah. It's beautiful up here in Emily. I like it. But it's difficult getting me back to the bus station at night, on a Monday night, because nobody goes that way. So that's why I'd rather go to Lindley, bell ringing practice night, or Almondbury or maybe Marsden or wherever or maybe Howarth Church now and again that's a ring of six bells as well quite a light six yep so you can have that this church on YouTube It's a nice little church in the open area, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. We've got to wait now for six o'clock. Yeah, well, when, I, when I finish round here, I'll, I'll turn it off and then I'll, I'll start again. <clears throat> These are like grey stones. Oh, don't worry, we'll video the clock to strike. It only does it on the hour, this one. It doesn't do the Westminster chimes and strikes. It just strikes the hours only, this one. Aye. So that's what we're doing. Video some beautiful trees around the church. And then... And then I can join it around. And that's where the sound of the bells ring out from there, up there, that top third window above the about top of the bell tower. Yep. But it's a six bell tower is this one, it's only got six bells here so I just thought I'd remind you again. Mm. So let's have a look. <clears throat> that main road there takes you down down to Flockton, right down there. And that takes you back up to Emily Moore, that other road. So that's where that takes you. So I'm just going to give you a, a demonstration of it. on that door there lets you in Obviously it'll be shut because it's Sunday afternoon and people don't always ring bells on a Sunday afternoon some churches do some don't it all depends it all depends whether people get time to come and ring bells or if there's services on to ring the bells if there isn't then there won't so it just all depends on the situation of the services, okay. Right. So that's the only clock face to what there is there, okay. It 
It's a bit cloudy and dusk, but it's a bit breezy, but not raining and wet. So it's still a little bit warm and a little bit cool. So. So that's it now until later.